Hello friends, today we are going to solve few important extra questions of chapter number 4. This is part 2, I had made part 1 also for this. Please watch that video. video. Now look at question number 1. If the roots of the quadratic equation a minus b into x square plus b minus a into x plus c minus a equals to 0 are equal, prove that 2a equals to b plus c. Whenever they are telling you that if the root of the quadratic equation are equal, at that time you have to use that discriminant is 0. So we know that b square discriminant means b square minus 4ac equals to 0. So now find out a, b and c from this. So what will be your b here? That is b minus c whole square. Don't get confused in this b minus c and this b. The number with x square is that number is called or the coefficient of x square is called a. Coefficient of x that is b and the number remaining number is c always. So b will be b minus c whole square. Then 4 and then a. Instead of a you will get a minus b and instead of c, c minus a equals to 0. So from this only you will get many things b square minus 2bc plus c square opening this by quadratic. Now multiply this 4 minus 4 with this 2 uh, or first multiply this 2 with then let, uh, let us do 4 then let me multiply this 2 only then afterward I will multiply 4 with this a into c ac a into a minus a square minus b into c minus bc minus b into minus a this will become plus a b right plus a b now multiply this minus 4 with them b square minus 2 b c plus c square minus 4 a c minus minus plus 4 a square minus minus plus 4 b c minus plus minus 4 a b equals to 0 now if any like term is there you can solve that uh, yes here it's minus 2 b c and plus 4 b c that we will solve later let us start with 4 a square first we are writing 4 a square then plus b square then plus c square then a b minus 4 now you add or subtract whatever minus plus 4 minus 2 so plus 2 bc and at last minus 4 ac equals to 0 now you can see that here something that we had learned in 9 standard that type of formula I am getting the answer of that formula which formula a plus b plus c whole square that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2c you can see this is the answer of this type of only equation so I can convert this into this here also we have to do that and look here it's 4a square so we know it is square of 2a then b and then c but sign how to put the sign look at this both numbers are negative because a is in both so b and c will be your negative term but you can there see that answer here also here you can see 2a plus if minus b minus c will only come on this side equal to 0 then i am going to take it here look here this will be like this whole square equals to 0 now root on both the side so directly you will get 2b 2a minus b minus c equals to 0 now take this b and c on the other side 2a equals to b plus c. So you got the answer. Hence prove that 2a equals to b plus c. From this only you will directly get this. You have to use that equals d equals to 0 and b square minus 4 is 1 by 1 keep the value and in that only. Here only if you had if you don't know the identities that you had learned in 9 standard then you will not be able to solve from this how you I had converted this. Look here this is the identity this was the answer from this answer we we had converted this question
look here we are also we have done the same thing now negative sign also you have to keep and put it in so this way we can solve this sum moving towards next question solve for x a upon x minus b plus b upon x minus a equals to 2 so here i think we are not having anything so directly we have to first find out the lcm and convert it convert it into straight form so let us find out the lcm x minus b so we are going to multiply with this with x minus a in the numerator also x minus a plus b upon x minus a was there now we are going to multiply this with x minus b in the numerator also x minus b equals to 2 now multiply ax minus a square this will become plus bx minus b square upon multiply this also x square minus ax minus bx plus ab equals to 2 now take this all number here ax minus a square plus bx minus b square equals to 2x square minus 2ax minus 2bx and plus 2ab now take this all the numbers on the other side generally you have to see that number having x will be your first x square that will be first number then numbers having x and at last numbers without x look here here 2x square so I want that positive only so directly you can take 0 then 2x square first now number having x here also x is there here also here also and here now take it here minus 2ax minus ax so this we take now minus 2bx and this will be this will come here and that will be also become minus b now the remaining number that will be take here plus a square plus b square plus 2ab now this two are like term this two are like term and here also we are getting one identity look here we are solving 2x square minus 2 minus 1 minus 3ax minus 2bx minus minus 3bx and here directly the identity that is a plus b whole square now again you can see you are you are getting quadratic but here you are not getting anything common but you can see x is here so in both this number x is there we can take out x also common and minus 3 is also there so i'm going to take common 2x square minus 3x common and a plus b plus a plus b whole square directly you can split this and find out the answer directly you want to do then you can do that also you can suppose this a plus b as y and then also you can solve directly I am not going to do I will make your work easy suppose a plus b is equal to y and at last when we will get the answer then we will keep this value now look at this will become 2x square minus 3xy plus y square now splitting the middle term factors of 2 2 ones are 2 and middle term is minus 3 so factors of 2 such that multiplication will be 2 only but addition will be the middle term so it will be minus 2 into minus 1 minus 2 plus minus 1 will become minus 3 so you will get 2x square minus 2xy minus xy plus y square now take out common from this 2 2x common x minus y again minus y common so x minus y so equals to 0 everywhere 0 is there so 0 equals to 2x minus y and x minus y so your value for y will be or sorry x will be y by 2 or you can say x equals to y now you you can put the value of y as a plus b so x will be equal to a plus b by 2 or x will be equal to a plus b 
so this way you can solve this type of sum thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that we can bring more such videos for you thank you so much